the moon the moon the natural satellite the moon is a spherical heavenly body on the solar system it is made of rocks and has no atmosphere on it it is the only natural satellite of the earth on the solar system the moon is about 384000 kilometers away from the earth and is about 1/4 the size of the earth it revolves around the earth on a fixed orbit surface of the moon the moon has uneven and rough surface which is scattered with huge mountains great plains and big round pits known as craters these are the places where long years ago meteors hit the surface of the moon and put dents into it a layer of gray dust covers the surface of the moon scientists report that the moon is about 450 crore years old same as the age of our earth and rest of the solar system no life is possible on the moon the moon has no life on it since it has no air and water it does not have an atmosphere surrounding like the earth so it has no protection from the sun's strong rays as a result temperature on the moon is very high ranging from very hot to very cold depending on where it faces the sun when sunlight hits the moon's surface the temperature reaches up to approximately 100 degrees celsius the boiling point of water on the dark side of the moon it gets very cold minus 173 degrees celsius approximately sound cannot be heard on the moon because there is no air through which sound can travel so it is a silent satellite our earth attracts every object and heavenly bodies with a force called gravitational force similarly the moon also attracts every object towards itself but with weak force because its gravitational force is 1/6 of that on the earth that is why your weight will be lesser on the moon if your weight on the earth is 30 newton it will be 5 newton on the moon revolution of the moon around the earth we know that the earth revolves around the sun similarly the moon revolves around the earth in a fixed orbit the moon completes one revolution around the earth in nearly 29 days sometimes the moon comes in between the sun and the earth while moving in its orbit different phases of the moon it appears from the earth that the moon changes its shape frequently but the fact is that the moon does not change its shape it has a fixed spherical shape when the sunlight falls on the moon it reflects and we can see only that part of the moon which reflects the sunlight and the remaining part of the moon looks dark the revolution of the moon around the earth makes it appear as if it is changing its shape these different shapes of the moon are called as phases of the moon sometimes we see crescent moon sometimes we see half moon and sometimes we do not see the moon completely the phases of the moon in the sequence of their occurrence are new moon during the revolution of the moon around the earth when it faces the sun the half portion of the moon which do not face the sun faces the earth and we see the full dark moon we call it new moon crescent moon when only a small arc shaped section of the moon is visible on the earth this is called crescent moon half moon a week after the new moon when the moon has completed about a quarter of its revolution around the earth half portion of the moon is visible by the sunlight seen on the earth this is called half moon gibbous moon when more than half portion of the moon is visible on the earth it is called gibbous moon full moon 2 weeks after the new moon the moon is half way of its revolution now the illuminated half of it faces the earth and we can see the full moon this is called full moon eclipses an eclipse takes place when a planet or moon passes between another planet moon or the sun 
This term is mostly used to define solar eclipse and lunar eclipse. Solar eclipse. Sometimes, when the moon revolves around the earth, it lines up directly between the sun and the earth. It either completely or partially blocks the sunlight and casts its shadow on the earth. The people living in the shadow area may see either a very small part of the sun or may not see the sun at all. The moon blocks the sunlight in this way. We call it a solar eclipse. When the moon completely blocks the sunlight on the earth, it is called total solar eclipse and when it is partially blocked by the sun, it is called partial solar eclipse. Solar eclipse happens during the daytime. A solar eclipse lasts for a few minutes only because the earth and moon are always rotating. The daylight grows dim. A solar eclipse should not be looked at through the naked eye as the strong radiation can damage our eyes. Lunar Eclipse The moon revolves around the earth. Earth revolves around the sun. Once in a while, the earth lines up directly between the sun and the moon. When this happens, earth blocks the sunlight to the moon and earth's shadow falls on the moon. We see earth's shadow on the moon. When the earth completely blocks the sunlight, the moon looks red or orange. When the moon is partially in shadow, it is called a partial lunar eclipse. And when it is fully in shadow, it is called a total lunar eclipse. Lunar eclipse can last for a few hours. At least two lunar eclipses happen every year. Artificial Satellites A satellite is an object that moves around a planet. Apart from natural satellite of the Earth-like Moon, some artificial satellites are also there in the outer space which are man-made. They too reflect the sunlight. They are used for different purposes. Like the Moon, these satellites also revolve around the Earth in fixed orbits. They are visible on a clear night sky. Artificial satellites are sent into space through rockets. The world's first artificial satellite was launched on 4th October 1957. It was named Sputnik 1. It kept moving for about 6 months. Since then, many more satellites have been sent into space. Satellites revolve around the Earth, so they can see large areas of the Earth at one time. Hundreds of satellites revolve around the Earth for many purposes such as navigation satellite, communication satellite, etc. These days, communication satellites are being used in many ways. They are used to relay radio and television programs. Telephone signals are also sent through them. Satellites also give us valuable information about the atmosphere. Some satellites called spy satellites are communication satellites used for military applications. Weather satellites are used for forecasting weather conditions. They shoot pictures of the movement of clouds which are very important for weather forecasting. Some satellites are used by astronomers for taking crucial informations about stars, galaxies and the solar system. Some satellites such as Landsat provide us valuable information about the natural resources available on the Earth.